All right, thanks very much. Fed Governor Chris Waller will say that monetary policy should continue to tighten. However, he currently favors right now a 25 basis point increase at the Fed's next meeting, which, as you know, happens at the end of this month, and the announcement comes on the 1st of February. He says they, the Fed still has a considerable way to go to get to its 2 percent inflation goal. He expects to uh, support continued tightening of monetary policy even after is the implication this upcoming meeting. Economic activity says it's holding up well with the fourth quarter GDP around 2 percent, but he notes that it's slowing, and he expects that economic slowing to continue. That's part of his forecast. He says there's ample evidence that Fed, the Fed's rate increases have dampened demand and economic activity. You've got the slowing of business activity. He says that is consistent with the Fed's goal. But he does point out the goal is not to halt economic activity, just to slow it and moderate it. He sees consumer spending has begun to slow as well, and he expects it to moderate further this year. He expects the economic slowing to continue. He sees continued strength in the labor market, but again, there are some signs that both labor demand and wages are indeed moderating. That labor market strength shows up. It, it, it shows that income and jobs can hold up despite higher Federal Reserve rates, but he does need to see continued improvement in labor costs. On inflation, he says, it's good news, recent declines in inflation, quote, but I'm still cautious. Core inflation, he says, has moved sideways. The Fed does not want to be head fake. That's why he's really staying the course, Brian. Okay, and this kind of goes to what we talked about extensively yesterday, Steve. Is there any mention of pausing, let's wait and see? It sounds like he's kind of got his views already set. Brian, you um, are the king of word search. You introduced word search to CNBC. I invite you to do a word search of Waller's um, speech and look for the word pause. And I'll give you 20 bucks for every time that word comes up because it doesn't come up at all. There is no That's not a good deal for me. That's not a good deal for me. <laughs> Look, you buy the beers and I'll drink them. That's the deal I'd like to offer you. Um, the deal is this, Brian. He's, uh, he's still... Going forward, it would appear on uh, another quarter point and maybe probably one after that, which is how the market is priced. And then it's the, you know, it's five, get to five, get high, get and hold. That's the idea of the Fed Reserve right there. Well, so you're going to be doing, and I want to give our viewers an update on what's going to happen because it's a little bit unusual for live programming. You're going to go into a room. You're going to do a sit down. So you are going to do a Q&A and then we're going to tap into it a little bit and then you'll come back on, I think, and talk more about it. But either way, we'll see part of that conversation you're obviously not going to give Just away everything because his, his handlers are probably watching this interview. But can you give us directionally where you want to go with this? I'll give you the first question, Brian, because it's the conversation that you and I have been having, having on CNBC is that can he explain the gap between the way the market views where the Fed is going and where the Fed says the Fed is going? And that gap is 70 basis points. It's rather high. It's three quarters of a percentage point. I'd like to hear how he explains that why the market is wrong and his outlook is right. There you go. We'll let you get in. We'll let you do that. And we are going to tap into it live and show part of that Q&A. Steve, thank you.